Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we're heading back to the Soviet Union, 1941, for a game of bolt action. So today's game is going to be played in conjunction with the game that we're going to play Friday, a chain of command game. The idea behind this is to do a comparison between bolt action and chain of command. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the same forces. Uh, the support choices will vary slightly because the games are different, but the core platoons will be exactly the same, which means some modifications on the bolt action side and the chain of command side. But tonight we're dealing with bolt action. We're also going to try to keep the missions very similar. So for tonight's mission, we're going to be playing Scenario 7 from the Bolt Action Rulebook, Envelopment. And in this one, uh, one side is trying to get into the enemy deployment zone and off the board if possible. So the defenders, in this case, the defenders are going to be the Soviets in both games, just to keep it consistent. The defenders will be deploying over here. They'll be able to deploy up to 12 inches up with half of their force, the other half coming in from reserve. Meanwhile, the attackers will be coming in this side of the table. Uh, they can deploy, or they will not be deploying. Uh, they will be um, coming in first wave, so that could be, I think it's at least half have to come in in first wave, up to the entire army. Um, the rest come in reserve, but no outflanking allowed. Victory point wise, um, the attackers get two victory points if they get within 12 of the enemy board edge in his deployment zone, three if they get off, one if they destroy an enemy unit, and the defender simply scores two victory points for every unit killed, enemy unit killed, and you have to win by two or more victory points to win the game. Envelopment is very similar to the chain of command mission called the probe, in which the objective is the same. The attacking unit must get a unit off the enemy boardage. So those are the two units we're going to be playing, or the two missions, I should say. So same armies attacking, same armies defending. They're going to be using the same map, defending the same side uh, for both games. So terrain-wise, uh, we got the tall fences. They're going to be uh, two-inch visibility, sort of like hedges, soft cover. Patches of grass are going to be soft cover if you're in them. There's a patch of dense terrain here of woods, another one here, an orchard. So in this game, the orchard will not, not block line of sight, but it will provide soft cover. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much see as, what you see is what you get. All the buildings are going to be soft cover. So to keep the game consistent between both games, we're setting up the chain, or I'm sorry, the bolt action platoon is going to be set up identical to the chain of command platoon, which is going to be using the Barbarossa 1941 lists uh, for both armies. Uh, since there cannot be two lieutenants in the bolt action list, unless you bring two platoons, both sides are going to get a captain representing the second senior leader that you would see in a chain of command platoon. Uh, also, a light mortar is are organic to both of the platoons in chain of command, so both the Soviet and German platoon will be getting a light mortar. But they will only be crewed with two crew in this game, instead of the three or four man crew for the Germans and Soviet mortars respectively in chain of command. Other than that, the squads are the same size and equipped the same in both games. And the Soviets will not be getting their free inexperienced squad in this one. Uh, that's a bolt action thing. I know it's part of bolt action and it makes the Soviets what they are. But I I thought that having that in here uh, would not be a very good comparison. So the Soviets are not going to be getting their free squad. So that's the setup for the mission. Now let's talk about the forces. Start with the attacking German platoon. So this is the core platoon on this side here. So this, like, like I said, this is the exact setup from the two fat lardies chain of command 1941 German Barbarossa list. So we have four squads of regular infantry, 10 men. So they're full strength in this game, which gives them, I think it allows them to reroll a failed orders chest as long as they're still full strength. Each squad has a uh, meet, or light machine gun team and a squad leader with a uh, SMG, the rest rifles. Two senior leaders and a 5 centimeter mortar. So one of the senior leaders is going to be a captain. It's going to be uh, this guy here with the pistol. And then the next senior leader is going to be the lieutenant with the uh, submachine gun. For support, oh, this uh, right here, this comes out to 687 points uh, in bolt action. To add some more uh, dice and some more firepower, we've included an MG34 and a 222 armored car, which brings the total up to 832 points. And 687, like I said, for the main platoon, 832 with everything. 
And that's it. That is the attacking German platoon. Here we have the defending Soviet platoon. So again, this is straight out of the 1941 Barbarossa with two fat lardies chain of command list for Barbarossa Soviets. Again, four squads. Each squad is 13 men, I believe. Um, machine gun team, sergeant with rifle. We have two leaders. We have a captain who's going to be this guy here with a pistol and a lieutenant with a uh, rifle, five centimeter mortar. So that is the base platoon. That is 755 points. So the main difference between the, or point wise, there's a difference of 755 to 687 between the two, and that's due to the larger Soviet squads. So 755 for the core Soviet platoon. We're also going to add a 45 millimeter AT gun and a Maxim machine gun, which brings it up to 855 points. So basically the Germans, as set up right now, are about 20 points lighter than the Soviets, which if you're familiar with uh, military strategy, you know that attacking forces generally have more uh, points than the defenders. But in this case, uh, it's going to be, they're going to be at a slight disadvantage. They do get a preliminary barrage, which is designed to slow down the uh, defenders, uh, make them spend time rallying, and give the attackers a chance to actually move up the board a little bit. Normally, you, you, you would roll a dice, and there's a chance that it won't come in, but we're not going to do that. They're going to automatically get the prelim preliminary barrage or bombardment uh, in this game just to uh, make sure that it goes off, make sure that the uh, intention of slowing down the defenders, making them spend time rallying uh, to give the attackers a little bit of an advantage uh, actually happens. So that's it. <clears throat> um, briefing done. Now we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, this actually all started as a uh, poll on the Facebook group. And I put every army I had on, and these are the two that won. I was kind of expecting maybe to see a strange combination of armies, like French for Soviets in the desert or something wild like that. But uh, in the end, it was plain old Barbarossa that won out. So here we are. So let's get started. All right, Andres here is deployed. Andres is going to be Soviet, so he'll play Soviets for both games, just to keep it consistent. He's deployed half of his force, 12 inches up. He's got a squad, his lieutenant. The Maxim machine gun, another squad, and the light mortar. I'm just going to bring, be bringing in everything in my first wave. Uh, there's no point in uh, coming in reserve if I can't outflank. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> a couple of uh, corrections. So, the Soviet squads are 12 man, not 13. I think I said that in the uh, Soviet portion of the uh, intro. And I've added a medic to the Germans just to get them up. Uh, they actually have a few more points, I think six more points now, and one more order dice, but uh, it's a lot closer now and we have a slight advantage as attackers, which we should. So, um, in reserve, Andre will have his 45 mil AT gun and two squads, and his captain. Well, captain, my captain. And I think, uh, I think that's it, so let's get ready to draw some dice, Andre. All right, turn one, here we go. If it's a green die, I don't know who it belongs to. It's That's red. me. That's definitely the Soviets. <laughs> so Andre's going to put one of his units that are in reserve down. Germans. I ran one of my squads on here. Next die. Soviets. Down again. Yep. Down again. I'm so glad to be down again. Got another squad in over here. Next die, it's you again. Wow, they come out, you know, 50-50, which is... Oh, you oh. had to say something. Okay, he's done with his down units. One thing we forgot to do, which luckily is not too late, is to do the preliminary barrage. Oh, but it is, but it is. You can't rewind that far. Technically it is, but nothing's really happened yet. So uh, the mortar takes two pins. Hang on, let me... Uh, grab some pin markers. Get a bunch of... Uh, okay. The squad. squad, two pins, the maxim, uh, one pin, the lieutenant. That's uh, one pin. One pin? No, two pins. One is nothing. Two, three is one. Four, five is two. Okay. The squad, two. Sweet, I'll take it. 
I'll definitely Heavier take that. than average. Okay, I'm glad I remembered that. Because <laughs> that's a big part of this mission. It's kind yes, of it part is. of the balancing force of it. Uh, Alright, next die then. Or no, he pulled one of mine, I'm sorry. The Z34's uh, run on up to the fence there. Next one. Soviets. Try to pass a pin with his Maxim. Got one pin, right? Yeah, what? Uh, you're a nine, you're a regular? Regulars? Yeah, you're all regulars, so starting uh, at a nine. Who pass, just barely. Whoo. But he does pass. Maxim has moved around. He's uh, up against the fence, pointing this direction. This squad here uh, ran through the hole in the fence there. That's me. Soviets. The Soviet light motor has rallied all of his shock off. Just. Just. He rolled a nine. Just like you rolled an eight. So you rolled exactly what you needed. Well, you wouldn't want to waste those uh, waste dice. Dips. They might come in important. Uh, they can come in handy later. German light motor has run on to this side with these guys. So I got a squad, a light motor, and an MG34 over here. Next die. Oh. I guess that doesn't mean I should roll. Not yet. <laughs> Unless you got something that I don't know about. <laughs> well. <laughs> All right, how about we run our lieutenant over here with these guys as well. Okay, next. We got a good little strike force building up over here. <laughs> hmm, now what? Squad has advanced onto the board into the grass. We're gonna take a shot at the maximum. Even sixes, uh, just the uh, machine gun. Not a single Not so hit. Much. But I got the next die. Okay. Looks like we need to do a another rally. Am I ready to rally here yet? Actually, I think I'm gonna have my junior leader pass an order. Pass an order, or well, it'll probably be a rally order. Okay. They make it, or he makes so, it. How many does he have? He's got two. So he loses both. He actually could have pulled another die with him and had them rally as well, but... But I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, no shooting going on here. <laughs> I brought my captain in over here with these two squads. Soviets, <laughs> this squad here rallied. So Andre's well, he's got one more squad with pins on it. My medic is running over here. Soviets, dice are coming out remarkably even. I don't know if I remember a game where the dice would come out so even. When it so really didn't so matter so much. Andre's pin free. So he spent an entire turn rallying, which is kind of the whole intent of the preliminary bombardment. My last unit I'm going to bring on is my armored car. We're on the road, so we're going to move up, double, and then we're going to uh, fire onto that machine gun there. So HE. Uh, needing fives. <laughs> Not a single hit. Okay, do you have anything left? Uh, yes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, next turn. Alright, next turn. Top of two. <laughs> so I could drive right off of the board here. I could have done it on turn one and got three points for this guy. I could do it now. <laughs> but that seems kind of lame and boring. It is, but I do think it's the right thing to do for a comparison is... Taking yeah. advantage of what you can take advantage of. That will give me three points. Right That's away. That's a lot of points. But I would lose the auto cannon, and the mobility and the armor. I would lose a lot of uh, firepower and mobility, but well, I would get three points. It's difficult for me to deal with, but if I can keep it off on... Yeah, if you wind up not getting it off the board, it'll probably... If you lose it, it would be a game changer. All right, so I used... Uh, up and Adam or whatever it is. Uh, no, what's that rule called? Follow me. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the, the uh, leader can pull dice, so he's a German, so he gets an extra one. He's a first lieutenant or second lieutenant, so he gets his own, or he gets two. Which I guess actually would only be him and one other. So, no, it's him and two others. That's what it is. Because he can always do one other for himself, and right. he's got the bonus of another, so right. him and two others. Okay, so what I did, I had the squad run up into the grass. He went with them. And then I'm going to have the MG34 uh, fire at that squad in the orchard over there. Uh, long range, soft cover. Hey, I got some hits, Andre. Man, yeah. So. Uh, I roll these. So uh, 
I need force since you're regulars. Okay, one dead. One dead. One dead and a pin out of that squad. Alright, go ahead, Andre. Next die. So good. That's, that's me. The Maxim is going to fire over here at long range soft cover. Yes, you're rolling like me now, Andre. What do you mean? I got uh, all fives. <laughs> there's a yeah, five, there's a five. <laughs> Sweet. Well done. I don't know if I've ever seen Andre do that. My light motor moved up. Tempted to range in on those grunts in the orchard. Out of range. Next to the next die, Andre. 24 inch range on that baby. But it can move and fire though. So, I mean, you at least had that going for you. Red guy, <laughs> the squad has passed their order. They advanced out into the open. They're going to fire here and even sixes. Sixes. Yep, long range move, soft cutter. Uh, actually, the machine gun isn't uh, long range. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would be. One hit. All right. Wow. Man, Andre's not rolling well. I might have a chance tonight. Oh, that's... Uh... Oh, God, I'm going to lose my machine gun now because of that. <laughs> Great. No, I didn't lose anyone, but I do take a pin. Hey, so just a, pin. a little better. Yeah, you're not rolling well. I had the captain activate everyone, so the medic, the two squads, just one squad ran into the building through this window, another squad ran around, the medic, and the captain. So there we go, we're moving up into the village. Soviets. Squad here has advanced up to the fence. He's gonna fire at these guys in the building. 14 shots, uh, long range. I mean, not long range. Where is it? Just moved, light cover. So five. One, There's two, three, four, five hits. Five hits. Regulars. I just need fours. All right. Five fours. Three fours, so you get to reroll that one again. So that's two down for sure. Ooh. Three down. And the pin. Okay, next die. That was not good. That's you again. Okay. The Soviet light motor's moving up. It's gonna take a shot. Uh ten Eight and six. One die? Just one die. <laughs> How many shots do you want? <laughs> um, Come on, well, <laughs> so on average, I'll get one hit per game with this unit. Woohoo! <laughs> the heavy repeating mortar. <laughs> Next die. You again. So you got a bunch of stuff off the table now. Oh, you still got your lieutenant. And my there. lieutenant. Andre passed an order with that squad. They're coming in there and they're gonna fire at these boys. I'm gonna measure real quick just because Even sixes. I'm not sure that I'm uh I knew it was real close to these back dudes, but I wasn't positive. Okay. And it is, and I'm looking for sixes. For some reason you rolled an order dice, I don't know. Uh fire, that means that <laughs> doubles all hits. <laughs> one, two. That's three hits so far. You can roll one more, I guess. That's and double, no. Oh, that was just an extra. Okay. <laughs> Three hits. So you roll those again. So another pin on these guys. They're going to bog down here real quick. And nothing. Nothing but a pin. <laughs> wow. But when my objective is to move, it's uh, all it takes is a two pins and I'm done moving. <laughs> you're uh, you're kind of stationary there. Yeah. So next die. It doesn't take a lot to slow down a unit in this game. Well, trucks would have been handy. Of course, then I could have just drove all the trucks. <laughs> that would Nine, be fun. <laughs> no, 18 points, uh, two trucks. Well, two I, I would definitely have to deploy in the road. <laughs> yeah, some kind of roadblock. All right, this squad ran up here and right behind that dense terrain. Next day. Soviet. They're about his captain in. Captain Lankowski. He's over here. I think that's my last one, so the only thing I have... I got, yeah. Yeah, so you got your, your AT gun, another squad, and something else somewhere. Oh, the lieutenant. So all I have left is this car, so we're going to just sit and shoot at that squad there. Okay. Uh, just minus one for the uh, fence. 
one hit. So a one inch template. With the one inch template, I can hit four dudes because they're very packed in there, trying to get all within range of the fence to see the building. Uh, threes, plus one against your fours. <laughs> Holy crap. Nope, but four dead. And D2 pins. Oh, man. So one pin. One dead, one pin and four dead from the armored car. <laughs> All right, Andre, uh, the last, he failed his order to bring his 45 mil AT gun in. So that's not good because he was going to put him right on that road. And then he's rolling for his other squad and they and came in. Came in. Andre brought his last squad in here. So we got a little build up of forces in the village. Build up of forces over here in this uh, clearing. And the armored car dominating everything while the 45 mil sits off the table. <laughs> we move on to turn three. All right, here we go. Top of three. Come on, gray die. He's palming one. I knew it. I knew it. I'm just going to activate Lieutenant or Captain Lankowski, who's going to, in turn, activate these guys. They're going to move up and fire, needing sixes, long range. Move. Soft cover. Three. One, oh two, man! Three, four. What? I wasn't gonna go down. Now I might rue the day. Uh. <laughs> you roll those. Oh yeah. So there's the four. Two dead. Two dead. And a pin. So I'm up to three pins now. How many of these guys are gonna get beat up? Okay. Uh, those guys there. Well, that's gonna be thirteen. So they've moved up. They lost a man. So who's shooting at? Uh, same dudes. So it'll be the same thing, sixes again? Yep. Man, I already got three. All I could do is rally. Man. Where if you Take go... your chance, go for it. Man. <laughs> I was going to say, if you, <laughs> if you go down, you can pull them off, but then they're down for two turns. Oh man, three more. Three more. So four now. So I'm going to have to definitely rally these boys. I need that first die. Oh, oh my god. This could be bad. No. Uh, but I, yeah, I knew these guys were going to get hammered. So they're pretty much, this flank is completely destroyed already. Next die. I actually got one more. You could do the yeah, mortar. Act, well, actually, I, that's why I brought this over. Okay. And, uh... Needing a five? <laughs> okay. Needing a, needing a five? Or you, or you can roll. You can move and shoot this baby. And then I need a six? Or, yeah. So if I stay put, I just need a five? Yep. Okay, I guess that's the right thing to do here. Yeah! yeah you whiffed. Oh. Wait, uh, <laughs> it didn't even hit the board. Okay. Nice shot, boys. Legs in the tray. Glad I didn't move you. Now I gotta rally. With what's left of my boys. Well, here's a die. No, there's no hurry over here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there's more pressing issues. <laughs> we're here, the captain has activated. They passed their order. So we're gonna fire the machine gun, two rifles, and one rifle at this squad. These guys were moved up, so I got a machine gun and like two rifles that can hit there. So we'll start here. So it's uh, five, six, seven, eight shots. So just minus one for light cover. So fours. Uh, one, two, three, four, five hits on you. Ouch. And these fours. Two dead and a pin. That squad is getting hammered. Meanwhile, uh, oh. I was going to put these guys up here. So it's going to be uh, two rifles. They just moved up to the edge of the building here. And we're going to shoot through the gap. So it's going to be five, six, seven. Uh, check the range on that. That might be long range. To the... Actually, the I should have rolled them separate. But... You're... Okay, we'll just say uh, inches to the machine gun. Yeah, everything so, else is over that. So the two rifles should have been. Hey, look, two rifles. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, we'll take one of the machine gun hits out. Okay, four hits. Okay. On those guys, I should have rolled them separate. Three more dead, and no. So did you lose half your guys? 
Uh, yes, you have six yes. guys, so you lost half, so you take a pin, and then you lose three guys, and you have to take a morale test. That plus one because your lieutenant is right there. So with the three pins, that'll take you down to nine, eight, seven, six, plus one, so seven, so you need a seven or less on 2d6 to... You do. Nothing to it. So you've got three guys left, and that's it. So next die. Okay. And pull a bunch of dice out here. All right, so we got all the dice here. So Thanks. Andre somehow passed an order with three pins, and he's brand those guys back there. Well, I definitely, yeah, I, I passed the uh, order, and I was thinking this was one of those situations where there was a big difference in games. And I can't remember why I was thinking that at the time. So if I... There's a lot of differences. <laughs> well, if I had... Uh, so if I passed... Or if I... You lose a pin, first of all. Yeah, I lost a pin. I'm down to two. Okay. So in chain of command in that situation, I wouldn't... Oh, I wouldn't have to try and pass an order, would I? No, you would just reduce your movement. Right. So the... And the movement away, we don't... Uh, you don't subtract mm, your... Well, or as written, house rule. As written... Yes, you do. You're thinking okay. sharp practice. All right, next die. <laughs> That's right. We've been for, we've been supposed to be talking about the differences between the two games this entire time. And yes. Gonna... So I guess the big takeaway there was <laughs> it wasn't a freebie that I was going to get off the fence where in the yeah. other game it would have been. Yes, another Soviet die. Andres moved his maxim over to there. Hey Germans. Hey. The squad here, they're behind the forest, they moved into the woods and we're going to fire at that squad there in the open. So moved long range except for the machine gun. So five of these are going to be needing force. Oh my god, look at that. And the rest yeah. of these are going to be needing fives. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six ones. So I can reroll ones. Sweet. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, needing fours. Two dead. Two dead and a pin. Next die. Turn three. G34 will fire at those guys. Uh, long range, so just needing fours here. Holy crap. Man, I'm rolling good tonight. What's going on here, Andre? Um... <laughs> Sure. I'm not sure you're rolling the <laughs> dice. You're just kind of dropping them on uh, sixes. Uh, the, still, okay, well, five dead. Let's start with that and a pin. Is that more than half? Oh, One, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, so five dead and a pin. Take a command test. You are within 12 of your captain, Lankowski, though. So you get plus three for him. <laughs> so unless you roll a double six, you should be good. Okay. So let's kind of reorganize these guys just to however you want to get them back into coherence uh, here. Don't I do that when I move them again? Yeah, okay. All right, next die. Uh, so between the 50 count and this squad, that squad, that squad has gotten their ass kicked. That's you. Soviet lieutenant. Just move back behind the building with that depleted squad. Soviets again. So, Andre, you have... Uh, these guys and the gun. Yeah, Andre's uh, advanced this squad up. Uh, so he's got the machine gun and four rifles, which can fire into this building here. So, so nine that's shots. Uh, eight. Eight shots. Moved. In vibes. Moved. Soft cover. Two hits. Andre is not rolling well. I am for some reason. Oh no, a dead guy. Nothing but a dead. <laughs> I'm going to take the guy out of the window that you can almost see. <laughs> okay, next die. Got your pin? I got my pin. These guys are going to rally. Plus one. So I need a ten. We make it. <laughs> <Good God. laughs> Nothing to So it. we lose one. So I'm down to three. But D6 more. Yeah! <laughs> I was going to say, one. I was going to say, I always roll a one on that, but I thought, how? No. Don't want to go. Don't go there. It can't possibly happen don't again. Go. It don't happens there, literally guys. every time I do that. So, And. Here it comes. It would have been too easy to predict a one there, and it would just feel weird. Okay, so i am just got my barrel on, and I'm going to fire. Did you pass your order? Does it matter? Yeah. <laughs> you need to pass an order. 
somehow I don't think he's going to be there when I uh, go to... Uh... He makes it, okay. So... So the gun is going to come on somewhere. Wonder about his gun in, and the rest are mine. And I have, what do I even have left here? Oh, my light motor. Oh, my captain. And, oh, the armored car, of course. My light motor ran up. The captain is just going to chill. And my 222 drove over this way to get out of range of that thing. And we're going to fire on that squad way over there in the corner. So needing fives, long range moved with the auto cannon. Hey, we got one. So that's a one inch template, so is that one guy? <laughs> now you'll hit uh, two. Cause... Oh, two guys. Yeah, so that's the least you can hit. Okay. Uh, plus one. So down to threes. <sighs> wow. Two dead. Two dead. Uh, D2 pins. What is that? Two. Two pins. Nice. Yeah, nice. That's that... what I was thinking. <laughs> That's it for turn three. On to turn four. Man. So the captain is going to activate. First he activated himself and these guys are going to move up. They're going to shoot. Uh, Needing sevens. Those guys over there went down. So three possible. Man. Yeah, we got one. Uh, really? A pin. See if we kill somebody. Nothing but a pin. Yeah, man, we haven't missed on the kill shots tonight. A pin and a dead. Nice, nice job, Captain Schwartz. This last squad here, they did pass their order. Uh, I did that earlier, we kind of had to redo things. But they did pass an order, and they've advanced, and we're gonna shoot at them. We are point blank now, so we need sixes instead of sevens. Yeah, we got one. And if, if tradition holds, someone will die. Yes. Another dead and another pin. And that's everyone. So the medic, the two squads, and the captain all activated. Next day. All right. Uh, so hey. It's the squad back here passing order down to one pin. They moved out. They're going to fire up here. Oh, man. Uh, that's. Am I giving me soft cover or no? Uh, it's. No cover, then it's four hits. If it actually, is actually okay, so I was thinking hits. no cover because I can see guys out in the open, but all right, more fine, than, four no, hits. No, no, more than half your dudes are behind cover in this game. That's right. cover, so three hits. Yeah. All I need is three sixes and three sixes again, <laughs> <laughs> at least two. So two down and a pin. Oh man, these guys are getting beat up. They're coming out though. All right, next die. I can't lose anyone. <laughs> Soviet, the Maxim is going to activate. Fire at the guys in the woods here, needing fives. Oh, man, you got one, damn it. I hit. Oh, no. Kill. Is it your machine gun? Oh. Negative. <laughs> It, is a it pin. should have been. Throw a pin on those guys if you would, would you? Uh, pin thrower. And that, next. That time. feels like all I'm doing is throwing pins. That's all you're doing, man. Throwing pins. Uh, good thing I'm good at playing darts, huh? Germans. Uh, my 222 two, two is advanced up 12. We're going to fire at that squad over there. Bigger squad. Uh, with the coax. I need force. One, two, three, four hits. Man, I'm rolling really good tonight. It's <laughs> amazing. I love it. <laughs> two dead and a pin. Man, I'm rolling good. Is this what it feels like? I don't know. It's something, man. I like it. <laughs> I haven't gotten rushed like this playing in a while. Normally, it's just frustration and well, anger. I'm the one playing the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you got another pin. How many pins are you up to now? Three. Next die. Germans again. My light motor is assaulting his light motor, damn it. I just was able to skirt around those guys. Uh, do I get to do any uh, incoming fire or anything since you were running through the open at me? I don't think you can with a motor. We just got a machine submachine gun. <laughs> Alright, fours. One down. 
So you got one left. You get to shoot with one. Because I go first as you're in the open. Oh, because this is that game where <laughs> yes. if you assault someone, you automatically win if they're in the open. <laughs> Generally. Yeah, you lost. <laughs> I hate nice. assaults in this game. So D6 uh, consolidation. Two inch. Okay, well, just go up like that. Okay, next die. <laughs> now I'll get assaulted with your lieutenant and probably get my ass kicked. Uh, he's a captain. Captain, I'm sorry. Captain Lankowski. Oh, captain, my captain. Germans again, huh? Yep, yep, yep. MG34 is going to fire at these guys, what's left of the squad here. So, uh, just long range, fours. That's it? You good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chicken. 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 You chicken? One, two, th three. Nothing but a pin. Oh man. The way I'm rolling? Are you kidding me? Three dead. <laughs> two dead. And a six. Two dead. So another command test. At three pins. But you are within Lankowski's range. Nine. I don't think you made it. Ten. You got three pins. But isn't he a captain? He is, but you can't go above ten. Right. Well, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't failed the fucking command check yet. Hey, we're the Russians. It's amazing. They are motivated. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be killed by their own guy. Soviets. You guys pass their order against because Lankowski, they're going to assault the mortar. Oh, they're both dead. So I, I just died. That's two more points. So that's two points for Andre. And then I can consolidate uh, D6. 24 inches. No. <laughs> D6. Six inches. Well, was... All right, so they moved uh, back over there. Wait, what are you doing? Blankowski? Yeah. Did I not say that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. You pretty much know what you're going to do. Okay, now you can do one of <laughs> We're passing an order. All right, these boys over here are going to pass an order. No problem. They should make it. No problem. So Andre's at sevens, two pins, soft cover, moved. That's four right there, plus three. Uh, so we'll gather the dice. Here we go. At these boys. Not yeah, so nothing. much. <laughs> Maybe these guys can rally and get all their shock off finally. <sighs> yeah, right. Well, like it matters. <laughs> um, it might. Oh, I didn't take one out for the mortar, did I? Okay, so mortar's dead. All right, so we both, I lost the unit to Andre, my mortar. That's two points for him. I have zero points at the moment. Soviets. Uh, the lieutenant who's back there has just moved back. He advanced to the rear. He's hiding. No. <laughs> Uh, He's a Russian officer. He doesn't hide. Oh, my machine gun. We'll shoot at those guys. Or should I move? Damn. With two turns left, if I move 12 both times with this guy, could I even make it within 12 of you? Long range, soft cover on those guys. Fives? No! Impressive. My luck has run out. And then some. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, I think all I have left really is these guys over here, yep. so uh, let's rally them again. Are we pass an order <laughs> with one pin? Ah, two pins. But I have my cap. No, that's lieutenant. Never mind. Captain Sports is over there. Hmm. Hey, we pass an order with insane heroism. Hell yeah! All right, so I've actually activated my captain uh, over here, and. So we can move them up. He's gonna move up with them, what the hell. Just do this all at once. Uh, so we're just gonna move up and shoot. So two shots from the captain, just soft cover, so threes. Two hits from the captain. <laughs> Don't waste any pips. And then one, two, three, four, five from the machine gun. Ah, hold, let me figure this out. So the rest of the squad, aside from the squad leader with the submachine gun, are gonna need fours. Only two hits, threes for the submachine gun sergeant. So three more, so five total. 
Needing fours. Do, oh, I, get that, do I get a pass this time, finally? No. No, hell no. <laughs> Four dead. And another six. Four dead. And the pin. That's uh, brutal. Well, we had four dead before we had four dead. And then Is that half your force? You have eight guys. Yes. So, take a command check. Although, Captain Lankowski is there adding his plus three, which... Ten. No. They fail? Yeah. Or plus three. So, you're a nine. Minus two is a seven. Plus three is a ten. Yeah, you made it. You just uh... made it. Did I oh, get minus another? three. That's right. Yeah, he failed with the uh, ten. So that squad is out of here. Just removed? Yep, they failed their morale test. Wow. <laughs> Next guy, Andre. Don't uh, mess with me. I already took them out of the They're bag. I don't know what I... So that's the end of turn... I think all of yours were already out. That's the end of turn four. I actually had one thing left. That was the gun. He's going to look through the orchard. All right, turn five. Um, let's do this. <laughs> Bring it, Andre. Bring what? I don't know. You just rolled over me. That's right. German. Uh, Come on, pull a die, man. <laughs> German, it's okay. With my first eye, I just drove off the uh, board. I knew Andre was going to um, put that gun on Overwatch and try to shoot through the orchards since it doesn't block line of sight when I drove by. You, you mean I was a little too transparent pointing it that way? I'm a step ahead of you, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but the camouflage I had... You, you, you. All right, let's, let's activate Captain Schwartz. All right, so we're going to move uh, Captain Schwartz. These guys advanced. They're going to go down. Uh, so I'll need sixes. And then we're going to... These guys moved up and we're going to shoot at them. So sixes now instead of fours. Two hits, and if anything, we got one, and a pin. And then fives uh, for the sergeant, because he has no movement penalty. Nothing, damn. And the Captain Schwartz himself moved up, and he's gonna fire as well, need fives. One more hit, so another pin, because <laughs> the Captain Schwartz, just another pin. What are they up to? Four. Okay, then these guys here, we got the machine gun. That's going to be five. Are we within 12 there? Probably. Oh, yeah. So six for the machine gun and the one rifle the there. Those are long range. Huh? Your submachine gun's long range. Right. This is not the, this is everything but the sub. Okay. So moved. Just moved. Just moved. Only one. But it is a kill. And another pin. And then the submachine gun is just going to be a long range. So, fours. And uh, two more hits. <laughs> and another dead. And that'll be two dead. So you're going to have to take a test with another shock. So take your morale test. You got your lieutenant over there. You're good. So you're down to one man in that squad. Or did they already have? No. So they're just down to one guy. All right, so this whole flank has moved up. We've got four pins on them. They're almost toast. They're down to one dude. Next day. Over here, the lieutenant activated, and he had both of these guys run up this direction. Next day, Andre. Soviets. Those are two of the, the last two guys from that squad are going to do their attack. The Did biggest badasses, Russian. Oh God. Seven Germans, you know they can't lose. You got one. Alright, so I'll just pull a dude out. And then I'll attack back with uh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, he's, oh, five. he's his own unit. Okay. But one's a tough fighter, so let's roll the tough fighter first. That's one kill, two kills. So you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so a D6 consolidation, three inches. More towards the board edge. Okay, next. This is turning into a beat down here. Did not expect this. That's you. So Andre's going to concede. There's no way he can win. Um, 
I got two units here. One of them is going to make it off the board. Lankowski might be able to assault my officer and take him out. If you got lucky, or he could die. And then other than that, uh, it's looking bad. So <laughs> complete German victory. Uh, I've never seen a game of envelopment go this one-sided before, and I oh. think that was just completely the dice gods have intervened on my behalf tonight for the I, first time in, uh, well, a long time. And the Germans have won. We got, uh, what do we have, three, six victory points? Andre's got two. Oh, and counting. I mean... And I could have got more if oh, I would have... You could rack up another six if you really wanted to. Easily. Yeah. So there's basically no way that the Soviets can win this. So uh, normally in this game, bolt action, this is a hard mission for the attackers. But uh, when you when you factor in the pregame barrage and uh, the fact that the... Um, defenders have to deploy stuff on the board first before the def attackers actually get on the board. It makes them spread out, or if they concentrate, you can con you can move in opposite them. So it's it does give. I think it's pretty balanced, actually. Um, um, actually, I still think uh, this heavily favors the defender. It does, especially if you keep guys in reserve, because then you can just counter well what you did. Well, like it, I thought this flank was screwed. It was only up up until uh, two and a half <laughs> turns ago, you were uh, making comments off camera. Oh, like, it's toast. Um, there's no way I can win this. That this is an impossible mission. <laughs> unless, unless the dice gods intervene, I say, which they did. So here we are. Um, and uh, they didn't just intervene a little bit. It. Uh, well, my my wounding rolls were just. Oh, unbelievable. I mean, every time I rolled for something to die, it died. Well, and... I mean, look at the dead pile of Soviets. Holy yeah. crap. Versus the dead pile of Germans, which, well, this isn't dead. But uh, all these guys are. And I could have played a little more defensive, but I honestly like my uh, chances over on this side. Um, I... Honestly was looking at coming up and just trying to do a sweep of all your units over here and racking up the kill points for them Because you had your officer you had your mortar. It's like I had a lot of well stuff. shit I'll just take the six points and if I can get all the way to your machine gun um, Which isn't far-fetched because you had Lankowski there. Yeah, no, I I honestly didn't I, I really didn't think it was going to be a problem. Um, that's you know why I pulled out of the orchard and yeah I had to come across some open ground. I knew I would take some casualties, but I had this whole section coming up here. And you lost. You wound up losing both of those squads, and which is unbelievable. They just got wrapped up. Yeah, and the armored car helped. Yep. They hit that squad over there. So. Oh yeah, not getting the gun. I mean. Not that it was a guarantee getting the gun in. You know, I had to get the gun in. I had to get the first die. I had to get a hit. I had to immobilize or kill you, you know. I would have probably put the gun in at the beginning and reeled them up as fast as I could up to the fence. And, just and then you this. would have just brought them down this side. Yeah, <laughs> possibly. But like I said, I didn't want to run them off the board. I could have ran them off the board turn one, but I, I wanted that auto cannon. And well, you could have just brought it, you could have just brought it up this side and pounded the fence. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, get ready because tomorrow when we play this again, the same map, same courses, uh, and chain of command, we're gonna have the same. You're gonna have to deal with that armored car then too. But in that game, in chain of command, you can actually try to drive off an armored vehicle with machine guns. I can also and only having two armor. I have to roll a five on two, one of two dice. If I get a command dice, I can also try and uh, ambush or um, bring him. Yeah. Yeah, and with the patrol phase, you might, you probably be able to deploy the gun all the way up. All yeah. the way up. So that, I mean, like I said, in the, we were we talked before we started that we we're going to try to mix in some talk about the differences between chain of command and bolt action during the game, but we obviously didn't do that. <laughs> Uh, maybe next time we'll do this again, maybe, um, and do a little bit more actually drilling down into the differences well, during the game. Or the chain of command game, it'll be a little easier to compare and contrast because we'll have something fresh in our minds to uh, we could do it compare too. and contrast. Right. 
But up the, what I'm thinking is that, in my experience, rarely does anyone go from chain of command to bolt action. It's always just the other way. So if you're going to compare and contrast, it's better to do it in a bolt action game, comparing it to chain of command. Because well, most of the people that are watching chain of command are aren't, already comments. aren't going to go over to bolt yeah. action. <laughs> They've so already been there. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah. yeah, this would have been the better, I'm, I mean, I'm not trying to con convert anybody, but <laughs> uh, it's a fun game. This is still a fun game, but uh, there's a lot of differences. But yeah, we'll, we'll talk about some differences next time. And like I said, maybe we'll do a, another series of these where we actually really drill down and, and uh, talk about the differences. So, but anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up now. So this is part one of the two video series comparing Chain of Command and Bolt Action. This was the Bolt Action portion. The Germans have decisively won this one. <laughs> um, and next time we're going to be playing on Friday. It's going to be the same thing. On there's going to be the Soviets on that side of the board. Same armies. Everything. Just a different game. And uh, don't forget to check out our Patreon page. If you want to see what's going on behind the scenes here, check out our Facebook group as well. We just hit a thousand members there, which is amazing, frankly, to me. Because... Uh, we were at 200 forever and suddenly just shot <laughs> that. So. But uh, yeah, so that's fun. There's a lot of cool people there. It's a great community of, of uh, people who are sharing their hobby and uh, just talking shop. So if you want to get in on that, check out the Facebook group and check out the Patreon page, of course. And until then, or <laughs> until next time, and, uh, which will be tomorrow <laughs> night, we're going to play some Shannon Command with the same uh, setup. So we'll hope to see you then and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>